हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम जे पी नोटियाल फ्रॉम ऋषि राम शिक्षण संस्थान ऑनलाइन स्टडी टुडे वी विल लर्न अ लेसन इन इंग्लिश फॉर क्लास नाइन द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज द लॉस्ट चाइल्ड व्हिच इज रिटन बाय मुल्क राज आनंद दिस इज फ्रॉम योर मोमेंट्स बुक एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग the lesson i want to give you the introduction of the chapter that as by the name of the chapter it's clear that the story is of the student this is the story of a child who lost here you can see the lost child the story by its name is clear that this is the story of a child who lost in a fair a child goes to a fair with his parents he is happy and excited and wants the sweet and toys displayed there but his parents don't buy them for him why then does he refuse when someone else offers them to him before lost of the children he was asking for everything displayed in the fair like sweet toys from his parent but when he lost then he started to refuse from everything it was the festival of spring festival of the spring spring is a season like now a days this is the season february march april the spring season and from the wintry shade wintry shades means a little bit cold and shades of narrow lanes and alley must a galley alle galley alle here narrow lanes and alleys alleys means streets and immersed some immersed a galley immersed a galley immersed means where they came out where they came out in a galley galley is shining flashy clothes galley means shiny and flashy clothes and clad clad here means dressed clad means costumed or dressed humanity humanity crowd of the people crowd of the people from the wintry shades of narrow lanes and alleys immersed a galley clad humanity means the people and they are coming out from this different different states on the main road some walked means some came out from their houses by walking some rode on horses some taken the ride of horses other sat and some peoples are sitting there being carried in bamboo and bullock carts and some are sitting there uh, on the other set being carried in bamboo and bullock carts bamboo and bullock carts means <laughs> that is the bullock cart bullock cart made up of bamboo and carried out by the horses and one little boy ran between his father's leg brimming over with life and laughter brimming over means filled with full of was left behind legs one little ran between his father's leg brimming over with life and laughter means the life just started and full with the happiness here you can see this is the little child 
who is the main character of the story the parents and this is the scene of the fair you can see here come child come called his parents as he lagged behind lagged behind left was left behind lagged behind was left behind fascinated fascinated means attracted or charmed by the toys in the shop that lined the way that was lined means was arranged in the line was arranged in a line on the way he hurried towards his parents his feet obedient to their calls obedient means follower to the call of his parents his eyes is still lingering his eyes is still lingering lingering means staying is still staying on the receding toys receding moving away from sight receding means disappearing because when the child along with the parents going forward the things arranged in the road that's left behind as he came to where they had stopped to wait for him he could not suppress the desire of his heart even though he well knew the old cold stare of refusal in their eyes in spite of that number of time they heard when many of the time the child expressed their desire but the parents stare with the refusal refusal means denial the number of time he observed that if i ask something the parents obviously will say no i want the toy he pleaded but in spite of that he suppressed and expressed the desire pleaded pleaded means requested he requested to the parents that i want to buy a toy familiar i was familiar his father looked at him red eyed red eyed means angrily red eyed means angrily but in his familiar trance way trance way in the figure of authority or the ruler or a cruel king a cruel king and the way his mother melted by the free spirit of the day was tender and giving him her finger to hold said look child what is before you then the mother express the tender and soft voice and uh, to hold means to catch the finger and then she want to divert his mind from the what from the toy to other things look was in front of you it was a flowering mustard field means the field full with mustard flowers as you can see that nowadays everywhere now in this season in which we are reading this is the season of this is the season of what winter shades light and the season of spring nowadays this is the season of is spring april 15 so flowering mustard field pale like melting gold as it swept across miles and miles of even land means the land the story is placed in the plain we are in hilly area but where the pale pale means yellowish flowering blooming full of flowers and melting turning into liquid form like the gold turned into the liquid form and swept turn was pale like mustard gold at is swept swept means spread swept is spread even miles and miles on even land even land means flat and plain land a group of dragon flies were bustling bustling moving busily with energy bustling means moving busily with energy about on their gaudy purple wings gaudy 
purple wings. Gaudi means shiny. Shiny purple wings. And intercepting purple wings. Intercepting the flight of a lone back bee of or butterfly in search of sweetness from the flowers. As you know that the flowers and insects they intercepting means pausing hindrances. Intercepting means preventing, preventing the flight of a lone black bees. One another black bee or butterfly means these dragon flies are preventing the way of the black bees and the butterfly in search of sweetness from the flowers. The child followed them in the air with his gaze. Gaze means sight. Gaze means sight till one of them would still would still stop from moving stop from still its swing and rest and he would try to catch it but it would go fluttering flapping fluttering fluttering means fearing and flapping moving the wings Fla moving the wings up into the air when he had almost caught it in his hands, then he was about to caught the dragonflies. Then his mother gave a cautionary call. Cautionary call means alert, alerting, alert call. Come child, come, come onto the footpath. Come onto the footpath with us. Join us. He ran towards his parents' galley. Galley with delightfully. Galley means delightfully. And walked abreast of them. Walked abreast. Abreast side by side. Abreast means side by side or equally of them for a while. Being however soon left behind. Because he, is, because he was attracted by the little insects and worms along the footpath that were teeming out teaming out coming out in a large number teaming out coming out in a large number from their hiding places to enjoy the sunshine because this is morning time and they are coming out to take the insects they means insects here coming out to take the sun and the sunshine come child come again his parents called from the shade of a grove of a Grove. Grove means a cluster of trees. That's grove, a cluster of trees. Where they had seated themselves on the edge of a wall. He ran towards them. A shower of young flower fell upon the child as he entered, as he entered the grove. And forgetting his parents, he began to gather the raining petals in his hands. And when he entered below the grove and then by the movement of the tree then the flower petals fell upon the child and then he forget forgotten about his parents and began to collecting the raining means falling petals in his hands but lo But low, low means C. He heard the cooing of doves, dove bird, and ran towards his parents, shouting, The dove, the dove. The raining petals dropped from his forgotten hands. Then suddenly he saw a bird, a dove bird, and then he heard the cooing and the what? Cooing means uh, singing sound of a dove cooing and then dropped, fell down the petals in his hand. He forgotten or he the out of memory that he collected the flowers and the flower petals fell down from his hand. But he heard and then forgotten about the hands. Come child, come. They called to the child who had now gone running in wild capers around. Wild 
means uncontrolled. Here wild means uncontrolled. Caper. Caper means jumping out. Uncontrolled. It's now running capers. Caper around means running out. The banyan. Jumping about the banyan. A banyan tree a huge tree. And gathering him up they took the narrow winding path which led to the fair through the mustard field. And then the narrow means very thin winding winding with several bands and turns that's called winding or winding w i n d i n g with several turns and bands footpath led to the mustard field as they neared a village as they neared neared means reach re reached very near about to reach reached very near the village the child could see many other footpaths full of full of throngs throngs means crowd of people throngs means crowd of people jo logon ki bheed and converting con converging converging means becoming a part of something by meeting it converging to the wild pool of the fair wild pool may hear the movement of the people in circle that is as you can uh, you can observe a number of time you have observed uh, that when the crowd we converged into the people and felt at once repelled repelled means driven away driven away thrown repelled and fascinated fascinated attracted and confusion of the word he was entering means this the entire word word world of the fair that was confusion full with confusion a sweet meat seller hawked sweet meat seller hawked hawked means a sweet seller sweet meat seller or the sweet seller hawked hawked here shouted what he shouted gulab jamun rasgulla barfi jalebi a shouting at the corner of the entrance the corner of entrance entrance means the entry gate entrance and crowded pressed around the crowd pressed around his counter at the foot of an architecture of many colored suites decorated with leaves of silver and gold architecture means well built at the foot of just near decorated means beautifully decorated means with the leaf of flower and leaves of flower and means that is the thin foil used to decorate the sweet that is golden and silver color that the architecture means different different uh, different different uh, height of the heaps that is the architecture silver and gold the child stared open eyed stared gazed stared means keep looking or gazed over out and his mouth full with water for the barfi that was his favorite sweet the barfi a favorite means liked most like most most liking sweet that is and then murmured i want the barfi he slowly murmured murmured spoke in very low voice that's we can say the whispering voice in saying something in uh, breathe that is i want the barfi he slowly murmured but he half knew as he begged that this plea would not be needed because his parents would say he was greedy and then begged and pleaded the request and he did to be paid attention to and then what he was thinking about his parents that what they will just that he was a greedy child so without waiting for an answer he moved on then without waiting um, the answer from his father he continuously walk ahead a flower seller hawked now the flower a garland of gulmohar gulmohar the beautiful flower the fragrance flower and uh, the uh, garland went to ahead garland of gulmohar a garland of gulmohar the child seemed irresistible eh? irresistibly 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 means forcefully 
irresistibly irresistibly means forcefully forcefully drawn he went towards the basket where the flowers lay heaped and half murmured again i want the garland but he well knew his parents would refuse to buy him those flowers because they would say that they were cheap because if you wear then that's cheap means not good enough that's heaped in the form of heap and lay then he was thinking continuously the things in his mind little bit murmured whispered but then he thought that what the parent will think that this is what reply he was expecting from the parents that this is cheap not suitable for you that's not good enough so without waiting for answer he moved on as in the case of burfi also a man stood holding a pole with yellow red green and purple balloons flying from it then a person he saw that's the pass from the stand holding means keeping in hand the balloon seller balloon seller and different colored balloons he was holding the child was simply carried away by the rainbow glory of their silken colors and he was filled with an overwhelming desire then holding and rainbow means multi colors made up of multi colors glory means the beauty silken like silken means like uh, a silk and overwhelming too much overwhelming means too much overwhelming desire to possess them all he want all the balloons but possess them all but he well knew his parents would never buy him the balloons because they would say he was too old to play in such toys so he walked on further so he continuously walked further what he is thinking in his mind that what the parents will think if he plead or request to them to buy the balloons then what they say now you become to old you are not so younger that you need to play with the balloons so now a snake charmer a snake charmer a snake charmer a person who show the snakes snake charmer is to playing a flute to a snake which coiled itself in a basket flute a music flute a musical instrument coil set in the form of a coil coil means set in the form of a coil itself in a basket its head raised in a graceful raised lifted graceful means beautiful graceful means beautiful bent means turned bent like the neck of a swan neck of a bent stone means fell and swan is a bird and while the music stole into its invisible ears like the gentle rippling like the gentle rippling the gentle sound sounding of the flowing water rippling means sound of the flowing water that's called rippling sound of the flowing water of an invisible waterfall that the rippling sound of an invisible waterfall the music of the flute was entered in the child went towards the snake charmer is fascinated by the music produced by the flute and he went to the but knowing his parents had forbidden him to hear such chords chords means rough or uh, and proceeded so he proceeded forbidden music so he proceeded proceeded means went on continuously moved forward went on the child went towards the snake charmer but knowing his parents had forbidden him they forbidden means said no forbidden means will say no because such course or rough music and he proceeded further there was a roundabout roundabout means a kind of revolving swing 
मैरी गो मैरी गो राउंड मैरी गो दैट इज देर वॉज अ राउंड अबाउट व्हील राउंडिंग व्हील इन अ फिल सोंग मैन वुमेन एंड चिल्ड्रेन कैरिट अवे इन अ वायलिंग मोशन वायल फुल स्विंग मीन्स एट अ फुल स्पीड कैरिट अवे टूक अवे वायरलिंग मीन्स रोटेटिंग वायरलिंग मीन्स रोटेटिंग मोशन एंड श्रीक्ट दे आर दे शाउटेड श्रीक्ट मीन्स शाउटेड एंड क्राइड विथ डिजी लाफ्टर विथ डिजी मीन्स मेकिंग फैंट डिजी मीन्स मेकिंग फैंट लाफ्टर लाफ्टर अ लाउड लाइफ loud laugh so they are laughing loudly and the child watched them intently intently means keenly full with interest and then he made a bold request to his father i want go to on the roundabout please father mother i want to sit in the Mary go round. There was no reply from the father and mother. No any reply came from there, from his parents. He turned to look at his parents, and then suddenly he turned. They were no there. Ahead of him, they were not there. They were in front of him, and he turned to look on either side. He turned to look on either side. His left. right they are not in front of and then suddenly ahead of in front of either side means both side and then what he found that they were not there he looked behind there was no sign of them no any sign of them means he was not found his parents a full deep cry rose within his dry throat and with a sudden jerk of his body he ran from where he stood crying in a real fear mother father and throat inner part of the neck that is throat and dry throat so and sudden jerk jerk means shock jerk means a sudden shock of his body he ran from where he stood crying in a real fear crying in a real fear and the fears mother and father in a fear in a terror and tears rolled down from his eyes the tears rolled down rolled down means very fastly coming down rolled down coming down from his out hot and fierce fierce means flowing very fast fierce fierce means very fast his flushed face was convulsed convulsed flushed face means reddish and the shining face now turned into the now that is convulsed means trembling his face is now trembling shivering and convulsed with the fear full with fear panic striken panic striken means very much anxious very afraid now panic is he ran to one side first then to the other hither and thither hither and thither here and there hither and thither means here and there in all directions knowing not where to go he un and he was unable to take the decision where to go mother father he wailed wailed cried or wept or mourned his yellow turban turban a cloth to be worn in head that is turban came untied that's came untied opened slipped and became muddy muddy means dusty muddy means dusty or full with dust now his turban means all the clothes he worn that were on the face everything disturbed and having run to and fro to and fro here and there hither thither to and fro same in race race emotions 
raised means full with emotion running for a while he stood defeated and for a while some time for a while for some time he stood defeated defeated means lost by running here and there to and fro defeated his cries suppressed into soaps now initially he was crying aloud but that's becoming mild in soaps soaps means weeping sound weeping sound weeping sound but in a uh, breathe only breathe 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 only at little distance at little distance means very close little distance means very close on the green grass he could see through his filmy eyes filmy eyes means full with tears filmy means full with tears filmy eyes that eyes full with tears men and women talking one man and woman they were talking there you know he tried to look intently among the patches of the bright yellow clothes but there was no sign of his father and mother among these people who seemed to laugh and talk just for the sake of laughing and talking they are patches no any spot then quickly means greatly and a little distance very close what he saw that woman and they are enjoying they are talking and laughing for the sake of means for the for the sake of laughing and talking means for the purpose of for the sake of for the purpose of laughing and talking he ran quickly again this time to a shrine shrine temple shrine means temple to which people seemed to be crowding crowding full with crowd full with now every little inch of space here was congested with men full with people congested congested means filled with the crowd and then full with congested with the men but ran through people's leg his little sob lingering lingering means staying still his little sob was still on his mother father near the entrance to the temple however the crowd became very thick again when he was going ahead then gradually the crowd of the people becoming thick means very dense and thick jostle each other jostle jostle means pushed roughly pushed roughly jostle means pushed roughly each other heavy men with flashing heavy men means fat fat men flashing shining with anger flashing means shining with anger murderous eyes murderous means very angry murderous eyes and hefty shoulders hefty shoulders hefty h e f t y hefty hefty means strong strong shoulders now the poor child struggled to thrust away between their feet but knocked to and fro by their brutal movements brutal brutal means uh, mm, that is cruel brutal movement movement means pushes from here and there that's underfoot had he not uh, shrieked he not shrieked at the highest pitch of his voice father and mother now that is movement and but knocked movement and the heavy trampled trampled underfoot trampled means crushed and at the high voice very loudly he cried and father and mother a man in the surging crowd surging crowd means coming out coming out or growing growing crowd growing crowd heard his cry and stooping stooping bending down stooping means bending down with great difficulty anyhow he could bend down lifted him up in his arms this man lifted the lost child in his arms so how did you get here child how did you get here how you came here whose baby are you is asking the introduction that tell me about your mother and father 
the man asked as he steered as he steered clear steered clear came out of the mass because the child may not be able to hear that what the man was asking so he steered or came out from the mass mass means crowd mass means crowd or the people the people the child wept more bitterly more bitterly means very loudly bitterly means very loudly then ever now and only cried i want my mother i want my father only one, one thing was asking that i want my mother the men tried to soothe men tried to soothe soothe means give comfort soothe means to give comfort to give consolation that him talking soothe him talking him to the roundabout roundabout merry go round roundabout rounding wheel will you have a ride on the horses roundabout horse ride is asking for the horse ride to divert he is gently asked as he approached the ring is gently asked as a ring means circle of the swing uh that and throat uh, the child's throat tore into a thousand shrill sobs and he only shouted i want my mother i want my father throat tore into thousand of shells means wept bitterly wept very loudly and shouted or cried only one thing i want my mother i want my father so here you can see that the this is the person bending down and holding him in his hand the man headed towards the place where the snake charmer still played on the flute to the saying cobra to the swaying s w a y a n g swaying means dancing swaying means dancing here dancing dancing the cobra and the her, he did he did means moved he did or means moved towards the place where the snake charmer still the snake player is still playing the flute and the cobra snake was dancing listen to that nice music child he played it now as earlier he thought that the mother and father may not allow him to listen this type of rough music now this gentleman is asking him to listen the is requested in the form of request that please listen that beautiful music but the child shut his ears with his fingers and shouted his double pitched strain full with double pitched strain means a uh, high volume again high pitch that double pitched means loudly very loudly very loudly uh, that i want still shut his ears and by putting his finger in his both the ears he shut and closed his ears that i i don't want to listen anymore i want my mother i want my father only one request continuously i want my mother the man took him near the balloons thinking the bright colors of balloon would distract distract means divert distract means divert the attention distract means divert the attention of the, the child uh, child's attention and quieten him to make quiet him make quiet to quieten him now the rainbow colors means multi multi colors would you like a rainbow colored balloon means multi colored balloon having many colors and persuasively persuasively asked persuasively means insistingly 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 asked the child turned his eyes from earlier he shut or closed his ears to avoid by listening the sound or the music and now he turned means changed or diverted his eyes from the multicolored balloons and only one thing i want my mother i want my father the man still is trying to make the child happy still 
means till now. Till now is making bore him to the gate. B O R E bore took in his lap. Bore means took took in him to the gate where the flower seller sat. From the fair, gradually they are coming out, and then at the time of entrance. Second meeting with the this Gulmohar Garlands flower seller. Uh, from where he asked, and with the answer he expected from the parents that this is not for you. You this is cheap look. Means if you uh, wear this garland, then you will not look good. So uh, said, look. Can you smell those nice flower, child? Would you like a garland to put round your neck? Means you want a garland of the gulmohar. The child turned his nose away from the basket and retreated. And retreated, retreated means repeated. Did again continuously again. What he repeated, retreated. His soap. and i want my mother i want my father thinking to humor his this consolate charge by a gift of sweets now the first person who met at the time of entrance in the fair the sweet meat seller and from where he want the sweet burfi which he liked most and now here disconsolate means very unhappy and disappointed very unhappy none avoided humor means to make him happy humor means to make him mean happy or to please to please him thinking to disconsolate means very unhappy and disappointed charge by a gift of sweet means by giving a uh, sweet he tried means the gentleman And try to make the look him counter of the sweet shop. What sweets would you like, child? He asked. The child turned his face from the sweet shop and only sobbed. I want my mother. I want my father. Means from this story, can judge that what is the importance of the parents in the child's life. Written by Mulkraj Anand. These are the questions. Five. at least these five questions to be written in your notebook and here i will upload the notes of the chapter in the form of word meaning question answer regarding word meaning i want to say you one thing that do not write the hindi words in your notebook only the word meaning to be written in english to english and the questions avoid repeating questions don't write those questions which may come repeatedly in your this thing in your chapter or the notes and only you write the question answer in Hope you enjoy today's session. Thank you.